Oh, fish! Oh my god! He's, he's pulling drag like crazy! What is going on, guys? We're back with another video of the fishing dream. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Today, we're gonna be heading up north to Boston, Massachusetts. If you have not recently known, I just got up here from Florida. Um, I was down there for a week with family. I brought my fishing rod with me, and fortunately, we did not get any fishing done. I was going to go one night, but there was a ton of alligators at the pond. And it was just too unsafe, plus there could have been poisonous snakes. We got a bit of a car ride. We got five hours to get up north to Boston. We're going to hopefully get some striper fishing in here. I'll bring the sabiki rig for some bait fish. Maybe we can catch and maybe we can live line it. We'll see, we have tons and tons of options. One day we're heading to this island, a couple islands off the coast of Boston in the harbor. We'll do some striper fishing there. And at the hotel we're staying at, there is a dock right next to it. So we're gonna hopefully smack some heck out of the fish, guys. Stay tuned, you guys do not want to miss this video. Starting route to Boston. Here we freaking go guys, we're here in beautiful Boston, actually it's kind of city-like, but we are here in Boston right now. We've got the water right behind me, we've got the hotel right over there. We are gonna do some cool fishing hopefully, um, some coconut on striped bass, maybe some pollock or whiting, we'll see. So um, I guess all I gotta say is, and I'll catch you guys when we go fishing. We just got here at the island right now. We got off the boat right there. I guess this is what we're doing. So um, I'll see you guys when we get to the spot. Fellas, we have made it to the spot here. Looks kind of sketchy right over there. We're gonna hop on some of these rocks and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll be using a swim bait. We got little diamond jigs. We got spoons, cast masters and everything. So um, we can get some fish and I'll catch you guys when we get there. Fellas, this is what we're working with today. We got the little storm shad swim bait thingy. I guess you could say they use the power clip. I don't know exactly what these things are called, but the grate. It's kind of tough to get this on. <sighs> like this thing is super strong and it will not fall off. So let's get the clippers. Get he had a clip right there. Now guys, you can tell by this tide right here, how high it just got within the time span I've been here. So I gotta hop cross spots. Just to get where I wanna go to. I'm gonna have to eventually move. This is what we're gonna have to work with for now. Launch the swim bait out there. Let it sink. Oh, there's so much coral everywhere. Guys, this can be tough. We're hitting grass everywhere. And it is very shallow. I don't know what we're gonna have to do here for, good. for this to work. Let's just, let's just stay here and hope for the best. Super shallow and you can't really get your bait too far out. I'm here in Boston Islands, the Boston Harbor Islands here. And it is not what I expected. Just move spots here, guys. I just tied on the little cast master here. Um, it has two hooks because um, I don't know. But yeah, I just tied on a little cast master here. Grab a little um, dock area we can go try. There might be some blues here. I'm unsure though. We'll see what happens though. I feel like any spinner or spoon, anybody really throws salt water catch fish. You can even catch stripers, you can catch bluefish. Because it resembles like a tiny little bait fish. Oh, that's what we want. We wanted to go all the way out there. And a guy was telling me that there are fluke here. It's not a ton because it's not the main fish to catch in this water here. So we're in Boston Harbor pretty much. And oh my god. Alright, I just got soaked. That's okay though. But um, main fish here in the Boston Harbor into the ocean 
are striped bass, of course. You may get a bluefish here and there, but it's mainly striped freaking bass. So we'll see what happens. As time got on, I just realized that there wasn't really any fish biting at the spot I was at. And at the time, the tide was kind of low and it just was too shallow for me to catch fish. So I moved spots, of course. Really? Soon enough, um, I realized I got a little bite there. Now, I want you no guys way. to comment if that was really a bite or is it a rock? And um, as you guys can tell, yeah, I snagged up. So that was the end of that day. Then I moved on. Guys, it is around 8.30, 9 o'clock. We're going to head on over to do some striper fishing. I'm not going to turn my GoPro on for the first second. We'll have to see what happens. But um, I'm just hoping to catch some fish today. I promise you guys, this video will not be a video unless we catch fish. So um, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Holy cow. I just got my first striper. <laughs> I don't really want to touch him. I did not get that on video, but I just got my first striper on a little cast master spoon here. Just cast it right in there. Oh, it's got another bite. There's a school of them, guys. Got the flashlight in the head. Head strap. Guys, holy cow. I can't believe I just got a striper. I'm so sorry we didn't get that on video. But oh my god guys, that was first striper ever. Oh I just got smacked again. Oh another one guys! Holy cow, it's a nice one! Oh, it's a nice one! It's a nice one! Oh my god! Holy cow, guys, we're using 12th town line. We've got a nice striper in here, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Swing him up. Oh, a foul hooked him, that's why. Holy cow. Ho, ho, ho. Picture. The camera away, the light. Let's freaking go, guys. Second striper of the day. They're just schooling in here, guys. Nice. Eh. Six pounder, I'd say. And eh, no, probably like four or five, but still, guys. That's our second story for the cast master, guys. Holy freaking cow. Right in the current. That guy felt so Oh, just lost a monster. Guys, I just lost a monster striper. It was a nice one. That's the thing, I don't have a landing net, and I'm using 12 pound fishing line. It's tough. Really tough. Again. Oh, fish! Oh my god! He's, he's pulling drag like crazy! Guys, holy! Oh my god! Gotta tighten this up. Oh my god! This is a 12 pounder. Easy 12. It's huge! Guys, this is a huge fish. Oh my god. I'm trying. He's too big. Alright guys, we're... Yes! Let's go! Oh my god! Look at the size of that thing! He's gonna go berserk. Hold on, Nicholas. I'm not ready. You ready? No. Tell me one. All right, let's get picture right now, right now, right now. Holy cow. Oh my God. I don't know how I swung that guy up. I'm using 12 pound mono. This is incredible, guys. Let's see. Next cast. Oh, oh, I just got smacked. Oh, guys, we're getting destroyed here. Oh my god, we got another one. Oh, he's jumping. It's a jumper. Oh my god. Guys, this is a nice one. No! He popped off. All right, we got that on video, guys. He popped off. I'm gonna retie this knot just because it's probably getting all stressed out, this knot right here. That was, that was probably the same size as the last one, but nice. If we get another fish, I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna be, I don't even know, guys. I want you all to like and subscribe. This is crazy. Go share it out. Guys, this is 
This is madness. Striper madness. We're fishing four or five hours ago in the sunlight. Used everything. Gone to the city. Tied a cast master on. We almost got our fourth fish. Oh, I just got smacked. Fish. Another one, guys. It's a little guy, but. I'm telling you, y'all need to like and subscribe. No. <laughs> Popped off again. Guys, that's what they're doing. They're shaking. They know what to do. We almost got our fifth freaking striper of the night. Holy cow. I'm loving this. I can't wait to do this next year because we only come here once a year. Holy cow, these things. Another one. Oh my God, it's in the current. This is a nice one. This is a really good one, guys. Oh. No. No. <laughs> The fish is, no! Oh, guys, we are so lucky. The fish jumped, the line snapped right here. Let's move him closer. Yeah. One like this. Yeah. Yep. Fourth striper back in the water. This is crazy, guys. So what happened was I was too I don't know, if I wouldn't have swung him up like that, he wouldn't have not come up here. So what happens when I swung him up, right, hit this and popped off, but he went right underneath this and slid in. Oh my God, I thank the Lord for that. Oh my God. Oh, fish. That's oh, a nice guy. It's a nice one. No. He popped off. He freaking just popped off. He was yanking my drag like crazy. That was an easy 20 pounder. I'm not even kidding you guys. Easy 20 on the dot. I'm not even kidding. You guys saw that, I saw that. Oh my God, we're using freshwater tackle. Oh my God. It's a little guy, but. Dad's running away from the... Oh! oh. Dang! Alright, now hurry up. You guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys haven't done so... Oh, let me flip the flashlight on for you guys. Oh! There we go. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. Yeah, guys, definitely go like, subscribe, share the video out, go comment your favorite part. We're actually going to do a shout out for the next video. Comment how many stripers I caught in this video, guys. I'll pick one lucky winner for the next video. Let's just jump behind me. And you guys will be shouted out. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Catch you guys next time on the fishing dream. Keep fishing. Have a good day.